Hey there, football fans. My name is Derek P. Fields, and welcome to the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because over here, we talk all things Detroit Lions. Listen, guys, I apologize. I really do. Today was not supposed to be a mobile studio day. Life happens, duty calls, and Wednesday actually is the least best day for me when it comes to the video making procedure. A special shout out to Pat C. I know what you mean, man, and I am working on it. I'm gonna try to get some better audio equipment so that if I do indeed have to record from the car, that the audio quality is better. So with that being said, guys, Tease Tabor, there have, have been reports coming out that have kind of been in the middle about Tease Tabor, that he, he doesn't look too bad and he doesn't look too good. Now, I saw Jelani Tavai's interception yesterday and you know what stood out to me after Jelani Tavai made the interception is, shout out to my boy Troxel Sports Talk for pointing this out. Matthew Stafford, now this is this is pads, right? This is this is practice. Matthew Stafford begins to run after Jelani Tavai. But I did notice that there was a person that was not running. Tease Tabor. At the very end of the shot, you see Tease Tabor. He's kind of like gingerly jogging. Now, he was pretty far from the play, but still, my thing is, if you are on, you know that you are on your last leg with this team, wouldn't you give everything you had? I would. I saw an article yesterday where he was up against Marvin Jones and he got burnt. And then he went up against them again and he played well. And both times, Matt Patricia called him over to his cart, which by the way, man, I absolutely love this cart, bro. This just riding around on, you know you a boss when you ride around in, in a golf cart telling other people what to do, I'm just saying. So my thing is, shout out to Everything King as well. Uh, he went to his second practice today and uh, was pointing out some things that I'm like, man, making me wanna go to practice. So I might have to clear out my schedule one of these days and get down there. Uh, even though that's extremely tough and I live four miles away. That shouldn't even be that tough, but it is. Tease Tabor, does he make the team? And if so, in what capacity? Is this the last year for Tease Tabor? What, if he makes the team, this is it, man. Unless he makes a giant leap forward, this is it. No more no more uh, passes for Tease Tabor, but Tease Tabor knows that as well. So my question to you guys in the mo from the mobile studio is, is this it for Tease Tabor? Does Tease Tabor make the team? If so, so it's a, it's a three-part question. Does, T, does Tease Tabor make the team? Part one. If so, what capacity? Part two. And if he makes the team, do you think that this is a make or break year? I think that the answer to that question is going to be yes. But... In this video, I just wanted to address Tease Tabor. And is he really doing as well as everyone says he is? Or is it just a bunch of smoke and mirrors? I know one way I could probably find out myself is by going down there. Once again, guys, my name is Derek P. Fields. This is the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to support the movement and subscribe to my fellas below. We are the Sports Movement Network. That would be Troxel Sports Talk and Lions Personnel Show. We are at the beginning stages here, so be patient with us as we grow and bring you guys better and better content. Shout out to all the other uh, YouTubers, the DSA, Everything King, DVE, Man Beast Morris, all those gentlemen that are doing big things on YouTube. We appreciate all the insight that you bring, uh, and that is amazing. So keep up the good work people because at the end of the day we are all on the same team we want the same thing from our Detroit Lions thank you for being with me in the mobile studio I will work on getting some better sound because sometimes life happens and you gotta you gotta go with the flow so anyway guys I will catch you in the next video make sure to tune in tomorrow for the Hall of Fame game we will be having a live stream watch party tomorrow over on my channel at eight o'clock eastern standard time so with that being said i missed my exit 
and I will talk to you guys later. That's why I guess you shouldn't YouTube and drive, right? Holy grail.